installment two of raw uncut bass fishing extravaganza bonanza spotted bass beat down large mouth or evasion evasion evading us part one, was a <laughs> part one was i got my butt whooped by the by the environment by the line got my butt whooped by the fish by some dakota lithium batteries i just got my butt whooped all the way around this dock is sealed off two to three ways if a bass knew what was good for him he'd be under there but they don't so basically what we're doing we are out here on a small little local lake and we're trying to catch us a bass or two <clears throat> just made a skipping video where some people made some comments but i want to see the bloopers and knowing how much of it was edited and stuff like that so we're just gonna film for 30 minutes 45 minutes an hour till the gopro goes dead till i don't catch nothing and get sick of it we're gonna film until something happens that makes me want to stop filming but so far they're actually biting pretty good we just did this for like an hour had like eight or nine bites they're biting good but we're not catching good. They're biting good, but we ain't hooking them because they're too daggum small. All the good ones, we've put a hook in. We've caught. I did lose one at the boat. But most of the little bites I'm getting are just that. Little bites I'm getting. And I'm not hooking them. But it's going to be all right. Just never know down here. I'm fishing the lower end of the lake. Clearest water, deepest water, most boat docks. And it's full of spotted bass. But every once in a while, the largemouth will pull up and you'll catch a bunch of largemouth. But typically, you can still get a largemouth bite or two here and there. And that's what we're trying to do today. Just get us a largemouth bite here or there. Or some spots, either way. I don't care, just give me something to pull on. Mm, man, I feel like I should have got a bite right there. Mm. I almost felt like I did get a bite right there. Mm, I'm going to try to skip it. First, I wasn't planning on skipping it, then I seen there's a little hole there. So initially, I was trying to skip it in between that float up there right behind the dock. Then I gived up because I'm a quitter. And I decided to just get behind that float. Same fish will see it either way. It ain't the end of the world. Don't know what I hit under there, but I hit something. A noisy boat. Got it on under there to the seawall. Yeah, let me know below. I try to be relatively healthy when I'm on the road. Whenever I'm at home, <whistles> ain't too healthy at all. When I'm on the road, fishing tournaments and stuff, try to be healthy. So leave me a comment down below. What's y'all's favorite boat snack? Favorite thing to eat on the boat? Healthy, not healthy, Twinkies, Christmas tree cakes, whatever it is y'all like, let me know. Mm. Caught a piece of brush or something on that one. Man, I barely hit it and it echoed way over there. These docks right here, deep, deep, man, maybe too deep. Oh, I already went under that one. Just swim that out. You like that little cast? Man, you get in the shade, it's cold, you get in the sun, it's too hot. Got me a nice striker jacket down there, but 
When I'm in the sun, I'm burning up. When I'm in the shade, I'm too daggum cold. I need to put it back on. Come on, fish. Come on, tree pounder. Three pounder. Or a four pounder. Or one pounder. To myself. To myself. That's striker jacket. It's a really, really nice one. It's not a hoodie. I typically only wear hoodies. That's the first jacket I've had in a long time. It's like a legit jacket, not a hoodie. I typically only wear a jacket. And then I've got rain jackets and stuff like that, but not everyday jackets. I don't know. Seems like where I'm at, people wear hoodies instead of jackets 90% of the time. But I'm not where it gets super cold. Doesn't get below freezing too often here. Luckily for me, because I like to bass fish, and I don't want my guides all froze up all the time. Mm. Old burnt line don't sound too good, do it? Burned it up getting that bird nest out earlier. Got me a gnarly one earlier. Wasn't in this video, guys, but I got me a daggum terrible bird nest earlier. I'm talking about worst one in at least a year. Terrible. Let's see what we got. Come on, spot. Come on, six pound spot. If I catch a six pound spot on this lake, all my buddies will come look at it. I ain't never even seen a five pound spot. Not a legit five. Seen some high fours. That one ran out of gas. Didn't have enough momentums. Go ahead with it. If you had a a recreational vehicle, like mm -hmm. a boat mm -hmm. or like a four or something mm -hmm. like that, other than a bass boat, what would you buy? Probably a motorcycle. Ooh. A motorcycle. Yep. Or a wake boat that is three times bigger than the average wake boat so then i could go run by them all day long <laughs> and my waves will be so big it'll bother them the way it bothers me and my bass boat or i'm just kidding everybody's out here trying to have a good time i ain't mad at nobody for getting a wake boat and riding around with it but why oh we'd be out here all the time everybody be pissed off at me come on get that sucker out of my slough no uh -uh. They do get a little close every now and then. Every now and again. We go over next summer to Wee Dowie and ride in one of his jet uh, wake boats. We might just leave there with one. Cause it do sound like fun, to be honest with you. I ain't mad at nobody for doing that. It looks like fun. Yeah, why would you? Sorry. Don't rock the boat. Huh. There's a gar. See if we can catch him.
He's on it, ain't he? He was. That was an accidental skip. So, if y'all are curious about the rod reel, line, everything set up, this is a seven foot three, heavy, extra fast, point blank rod, Fuji guides, eight to one gear ratio reel, 20 pounds sunline shooter, and this is a three eighths ounce ace jig from Untamed Tackle, dirty crawl color with a little D-bomb on back. So that's the setup for right now. Typically throw the mini D chunks. We've been throwing ever since it came out, but I am out of those. So I gotta get me some more of them in. Cause they do be eating them pretty good. Man, that's deep in here for whatever reason. These docks are just deeper than the ones I've been fishing. All right, they give me advice or, I'm, or they give me tips? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get tips. All right. Okay, these days, these days, BFLs are hard to win, much less a top five. Yep. I know what to do, but execution is not so-so. Any advice or tips on BFLs? You know, it's just, you're just never gonna land every fish that bites. You know, it's just, they're extremely difficult to navigate. A lot of times there'll be 150, 200 boats in them, 100 boats, whatever the case may be. It's just tough to get a top five in that. You just have to really understand that if you're dead average and there's 200 boats, you should fish 200 before you win one of them. You should fish 200 before you come in or, you know, like, like dead on fifth place. So, you know, if there's... 200 boats you should fish i guess it'd be 40 of them before you get one top five if you're just an average fisherman so understand just how much variance there is in those tournaments and just try to do the best you can don't leave fish to find fish fish in good areas well-known areas one day tournaments get one out of well-known areas that's just that's just how it is so stay in the good areas fish to your strengths and just be okay with having some bad tournaments every now and then because variance is a real thing when there's that many boats. A lot of variance in it. Hope that didn't come across the wrong way. Hmm. Nailed that post. Post. Come on now. This little dot's got a little hole. Mm, and there's a middle float too. Didn't know about the old middle float. They don't seem to be in here, do they? What's a dealio? All right. Since we had no bites, I ain't even. Yeah, I'm gonna go to that dock anyways. Cause that might be the 10 pounder dock. 10 pounder. Yep. One thing about the dock, you're optimism. optimism.
Optimism, Hunter. Optimism is a key ingredient. On my way home last night, I seen a shooting star. Did you? Yeah. Did you wish on it? Hmm, I don't know about that. I always answer. What is? You paddle it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's got a little thing over that. I know that, but is that what you really do? I don't have a motor. Hmm. Y'all can have all that. I just put some gas in that sucker. Be out here so tired trying to get back home, be hungry. <laughs> what kind of boat snacks would you take on a boat you had to pedal? Better be some proteins. You almost threw me off. Me? Yep. Come on, fish now, what's the deal? We must have started on the juice docks, huh? You're not being dysfunctional on I guess that's the key. Hit him? Like, how, how bad of a bird nest do I need? Couldn't bring myself to do it. Come on, get that leaf off of there. Mm. I've noticed that I'm really twisting my body too much to stay in the frame. Especially when I'm up here on my perch. So I know I'm not pointing the camera the way I need to be pointing it all the time. <clears throat> Come on, fish. Give me a dang bite. There's a little bite.
Come on now, fish. My dang trailer's done got ripped now, it ain't skipping too good. Ruined my line earlier now, it ain't coming off too well. Come on now, there's supposed to be one under there. God, dog it. That's a large mouth. He wasn't no biggin'. Pound a quarter, pound a half, maybe. Let him have it for a long time too, man. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Mm. Boom. I watched them all. I don't care about them. I didn't want to watch them. Me, I hate I lost that one. That was a nice large mouth. Which is kind of rare for this side of the old pond. Don't catch too many large mouths. Mm. That fish had it for I mean, ever. <clears throat> I felt him biting at it, and I thought it was a really, really small one. Just till he didn't really get it good. And then finally, he swam off with it. I mean, he had it for three or four seconds, and then he swam off with it. So I went ahead and pulled on him and put him up with that cross member. My line was right over that cross member, and he came up and wallowed his head one time and came straight off. So... Rather unfortunate. Let's see what we can't do under a couple of these docks. Gives a dang bite or two. Last little pocket with a dang show sure enough dud. Come on, give me a bite. <laughs> Supposed to have been one. Supposed to have been one. 
caught on the carpet. Oh, what the heck? See if there's one. They're under that little back part. Sometimes there will be. You gotta love the rails too. Fish get on the rails. But you'll break them off. We'll break them off. I broke off many around them rails. There's one. Gosh, man. Never got him. Never got him. There's a nice little spotted bass. Pretty one. Nice one. Mm, splash myself big time. I'm gonna reverse my trailer around because I'm about ruin this one. It's okay though, we had a lot of bites on it. It's time for it to be ruined, I believe. We'll try to get another one or two out of it. Pretty nice little spot right there. I don't know how I didn't get him the first time. Cause that second time I got him really good. I guess he just either might've had it in his mouth funny or only had the trailer or something like that. Cause I didn't take it too easy on him. Y'all can probably tell. Seven three heavy, 20 pound shooter. It took pretty dang good, pretty hard. Not as hard as possible, but pretty good. Let's see if we can't get us one more, one more bite here on the next few docks. Get us another little fish catch. We'll call it a daggum day on the video. Mm. right to the pole.
Now I got hung. I thought I had a bite. Come on, fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gives me a big old large mouth just swimming it down this dang seawall right here. You got any more questions for us, Hunter? Before we end this one? How long you want this one to be? Let's just go till we catch one more. All right, that's what we're going to do. It's going to be live. Not live. It's going to be a two fish catch video. Two fish catch, one lost fish. Uh oh, I thought that was one. Thought it was him. Well, that that was one. But he must be small. Are you big enough to end my video? We'll see. Get it on in there. See if he wants to come do something about it. That's a good spot right there for a spot. These are not docks that I typically fish, but they are some good candidates for a bass to be on, I would imagine. Right here where it chokes down in the back of this creek. Should be all good. Should be able to get this dang bite right here. Me. Up there in the corners of the sea walls, there can always be one. Been a couple there today, I just haven't hooked them. You can catch a big fish off the seawall though. Really kind of anywhere, but in this area of the country specifically. Catch a big enough seawall. Come on now, give me my last bite of the day. I'm gonna try to break my rod, my line, his face, throw my shoulder out. We're gonna just try all we can try. All right, old GoPro done died on me. So now we're going to uh, continue where we left off with a fresh battery. Hopefully it won't take too long. We'll get us a bite, get on out of here. If it does take long, well, it's just be longer than we expected, which is all right for that too. If you don't want to watch it, you just stop watching it. If you want to watch it, good, we got more.
Oh. Come on, one more fish. Hunters put the order in. We're just waiting on y'all. Getting a little chilly over here in the shade. Oh, I lost him. Like Something hit you? Something hit you? Probably line. That was a little tiny one, I believe. Got no trailer left. We'll see. We show shall see. Lidlin. He showed in. Showed in. Cut off about. I want to get myself my stuff fixed up. Do you need your jacket? Nope. Oh, let's get this dang bite out of that tree right there. That'll do it for me. Let's head across over those. That looks pretty good, don't it? Oh, we're just moseying along. Let's see if we just get lucky out here. Find us a video ending spot. In the middle of the pocket. <clears throat> we're staying rolling until we catch one more fish. Doesn't matter if it takes till tomorrow morning, we're just gonna freeze all night till we get him. Ain't that right, Hunter? That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Hunter might be ready to go now. <clears throat> we'll get him though, right down through here. Take us a few minutes to fish all them dogs, so we'll get us one. I hate that I lost that other one, that large mouth. Oh, I wasn't even looking right there. Wasn't even paying attention to that. I was fixating on sliding underneath that metal bar. Completely forgot about the old prop. <laughs> Try. 
Drop your top. All right. That's what that sign said. Sign said, drop your top. You don't want to be a rude guest. Give me a bite swimming this sucker. Around this shallow little riprap. Pontoon dock going over there. The fourth dock. Maybe. Was it how many's it got? <clears throat> Come on, biggin. Be up there on that. Oh, gotta do a little dance on on the aluminum boat sometimes. Is that one gonna end the video? Does that one count? Does this one count? It's a large mouth bite I've been after. He's just about pound too small we'll go a little bit longer we'll just go right over there to that them couple docks then we'll, we'll end it no matter what that just don't feel like a go out on it kind of fish you know what i'm saying just don't feel like that to me if you made it to the end of this video favorite thanksgiving food yes. all right no. you told them Hunter said, if you made it to the end, comment your favorite Thanksgiving food. Let us know you made it this far. Hunter, and cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce. Yeah. This, ain't, this ain't looking good, Hunter. So let us know also. Leave a like. Leave a comment. If you like this type of video where I'm just out here fishing around, filming for a little while, showing you all the, what really happens when you fish for 45 minutes or an hour or stuff like that. It's just kind of what it is man just kind of what it is it's what we do out here fishing around practicing our casting practicing our hook set after earlier today it looks like it needs a little bit of practice tell you the truth might go get us a video chesty video of me just straight flipping bushes all day how would y'all like that one straight flipping bushes all day If y'all like the unedited stuff, leave me a like, leave me a comment, let me know you like it. And then tell me what kind of technique y'all would like to see me fish unedited like this, or just lay out eight or ten rods and go straight junk fishing like I always do. Because that is what I always do. Just junk fish. Let me know. We like getting input. That motivates me to want to make that type of content. Hunter called it on this dock. She said this dock is going to be the, the video ending bass. What am I hit? Hit a post that I didn't know was there. We just got to go a little diagonal to get it through there. Wasn't there. Let's see if Hunter's right. See if Hunter is right. Where's he gonna be at specifically, Hunter? In the From the middle in between the post? Kind of out towards the tip of it? No, way back. Way back. Mm, so I gotta get up in there then. Right there? No. Right there? No, further. further than that? That was almost max. Max farness. Throw up in there and get hung on the riprap on the back of it. 
Right there? Yeah. That's it? All right, that's in there now. Pretty far in there. Also, tell us if you like our new cameras. Because this video, we didn't film on the Yep, so if y'all didn't see our other video like this, we had a lot of camera issues last year on the Bassmaster Elite. That's why we didn't post a lot of video. We lost three cameras. We lost two hard drives. We just had a lot of bad stuff happen last year in the in the cinematic department. So, with that being said, we ordered some new ones. And now this is our first kind of real video filming on our new one. So let me know if it looks good, looks clear, how you like it. If the audio's good, if audio's better. Let me know what I need to work on because I want to make these videos a whole lot better going into next year. That's one of our big goals for next year's better content. Do a little pitch skip under there, one handed pitch skip. How about that one? How about the one handed pitch skip? One handed pitch skip to a three pounder transition. Let's see. Didn't work that time. How'd that even get in my. Somehow, got a loop in my reel. Didn't even see it. <whistles> see if there's one on the old piece of wood right there. Oh. We got two more docks, Hunter. Then we got to just call it. We don't catch one. Don't you figure? Come on now. Let's go out with a fish catch. I need y'all to hit that like button so we get a fish catch. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Hit the dislike button for a spot. Hit the like button for a large mouth. Thumbs this way, spotted bass. Thumbs this way, large mouth. Oh yeah, large mouth. Come on now, fish. Be on this dock. We got one more dock to work with. One more. Uno mas. Come on. Either way, this video has been a little bit smoother than our last one. If y'all haven't seen our last one, we probably put a link to it in the description. We had, we had slithering snakes. We had dead batteries. We had burned line. We had backlash reels. We had lost fish, missed fish music playing people on the dock jamming somebody cutting down their dock with a chainsaw we had everything going on in the last video and this was just been calm hardly any fish catches just kind of down here sliding a jig under docks kind of asmr style you can just hear the asmr style so that's what we're doing the last one was chaotic this one's a lot smoother. Less entertaining. This is less entertaining? Yeah. Less entertaining, but this is more natural. This is like more real life like. One thing about this lake is they gonna cut their grass. Oh, they gonna cut their grass. You pull in with a video camera, they gonna cut the grass. They gonna blow dry the leaves, weed eating. They just take a chainsaw to random wood they had laying out there for three years. They turn loose all their dogs. As soon as you pull into the pocket. That's just the truth. All right. That's going to do it for this video. We have a... Uh, let's get that little ace around. Bunch of docks today. Caught some bass on it. It was fun. Appreciate y'all watching. If y'all like this kind of video, click that one. See y'all.